I, when trying to put together this Grange Girls Summit, trying to decide all the different things that we could talk about, I couldn't think of anything more to talk about than our attitude. Because I've been traveling around the nation, that's the number one thing that I think that we all need to promote out there in our states and in our Granges, is their attitude. When I was traveling around dealing with individual Granges in my home state, I would walk into a Grange, and it, it came up during dinner tonight, and I had to leave because you have taken my whole program. <laughs> but we would walk into Granges that they think they are the last Grangers for that Grange, that it's going to close, that they're just hanging on for a little bit longer, and it's done. That attitude is not going to promote growth. That attitude is not going to help us find any new members. Who would want to join a Grange that's only going to be there just a little bit longer and go away? So we have to decide what our attitude is. And when you're going to go out and you're going to talk about organizing Granges, reorganizing, or... Uh, what's that? Revitalizing Granges, thank you. You can see where I was stuck. When you're out there working with this, it's your attitude. It's your attitude that you're going to take out there that's going to be, is it going to be contagious? Is it going to be in a positive way or a negative way? Can you handle the negative? Can you handle the positive? Can you handle those things? Your attitude is going to make a difference. So today's program, the little workshop that we're going to do here tonight, is called Choose Your Altitude. Where are you going to fly? What altitude are you going to fly? How many in this room have read the book, Fish? Okay. That is a great book, by the way. It's an easy yeah, read. It's 107 pages. Even I can read it. And that's very important for those of you that don't know. I don't read books. Okay. But this program here is a good one. You all want to read the book, Fish. And you will understand some of the things that we're going to talk about tonight. There's some information for you who wrote it if you need it. You can get it on eBay for about $5. Okay. So, do you ever feel that you're walking with the turkeys? Come to find out, there's a lot of turkeys in New Jersey. Not grangers either. Turkeys. Actual turkeys, okay? You gotta be careful here. Okay? So, choose your attitude, or your altitude. First thing we want to do is we want to talk about attitude. But we're also going to talk about play. Make their day and be there. These are the four things that we're going to focus on tonight. These are the things that you need to take into your meeting when you're at your Grange, when you're out there organizing, and tomorrow, weather permitting, when you're out there talking in these communities. You want to make sure that you do these four things. It's going to be very important. Now, is there anything in there that looks scary to anybody? Anybody have a problem with play? <laughs> As you can find out, I don't have a problem with play. And poor Margaret's had to listen to me give her directions all day long. She doesn't always follow them, those of you that were following us at Grange Hall. I told her it's going to sneak up on you right here. I know where I'm going. <laughs> okay. So there's nothing scary about this. This is a very easy process. Oh, but it all starts with attitude. Now, how to choose? How many in this room think that we choose our attitude? Okay, good question, good answer, good answer. Now, have you ever gotten mad and uh, said something bad about the guy that just cut you off in traffic? <laughs> See, I'm a country boy, you put me in traffic and I don't like it, okay? So, when you say something bad or you're going, did you choose that attitude? did, didn't you? So, we really can choose our attitude. When you get up in the morning, do you choose your attitude? Yeah. Do you choose how you're going to be that way? How about your personality? How about your personality? Is it, can it play a part of your attitude? Now, there's those of us like me that, you know, think that I know how to do everything right. 
So how do I, that's my personality. So now how do I choose my personality when I run into Brother Ed that thinks that he knows how to do everything? You know, how, how do we get along? We need to choose our attitude carefully. We need to make sure that we work that because we know our personalities. So when we get up in the morning, are we happy? You know, Pete, I spent three days with Pete, okay? If we spent a week together, I don't think Jersey can handle it. <laughs> okay, it was getting to be a lot of positive energy in that little truck, okay? <laughs> so, I heard Pete say over and over and over, everywhere we went, it's a good day. You guys just heard him say it here, if you guys noticed. He said it when he introduced us all, didn't he? When he said hello to everybody. It's a good day. It's a good day. That's a choice. That's a choice that we're going to have a good day. We can do that in the mornings. How about when we're going to Grange? Everybody has a good time when they go to Grange? <laughs> the hands kind of diminish there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, couple there. Thank you. Social highlight of the week. I was worried here for a second. Yeah. Okay. Can we choose our attitude when we go to Grange? Sure we can. Is Sister Phyllis still going to be there? Is she still going to comment on everything we do? Is she still going to tell me about going to the doctor last week? Yeah, she is. <laughs> I can guarantee that. But how am I going to deal with it? Am I going to deal with it in a good way? Am I going to react negatively? So tomorrow when you're talking to people, how are you going to react? How are you going to react when somebody starts pushing your buttons? You know, I don't need one more meeting. I don't want to join the Grange. You know, my parents were Grangers and they didn't, have, they didn't like it at all. You know, how are you going to respond to those things? Are, are we thinking about that? Because those are the kind of things we're going to hear. Those are the kind of things that you've got to deal with when you're out there. So how about the face of obstacles? We talked about the, the traffic one. Can anybody think of another obstacle when sometimes our attitude gets on the low road? Grocery yeah. stuff. Grocery store line. Grocery store line. <laughs> when the lady's still digging through her purse. <laughs> we saw a good attitude this morning when she was multitasking at Staples. Oh my goodness. We went and did some printing at Staples today and it was crazy. And of course, I'm not an easy customer. I walked in with my thumb drive and said, oh yeah, there's a few things on my thumb drive I'd like to have printed. Well, do you think those were the only things on my thumb drive? <laughs> You think we, they were all embedded in other files and we had to go all the way through? Yes. And there was what? At least five or six other people all standing there just like this. She's clicking along and she's going, oh, you need some help with the coffee machine? Oh, yeah, just do that. Okay. And then she go, how about the fax machine? You guys go, okay, yeah. She's helping people. She's just easy going, smile on her face. And it set everybody at ease. Her attitude made a difference for, for the company she's working for. So see, our attitude is going to bleed over to who we're working for, isn't it? If we're out trying to start a grange or work on a grange, our attitude is going to bleed over to that grange. So in the face of obstacles, choose your attitude. When you're doing, uh, Margaret, when you're doing those U-turns in front of the state patrol, <laughs> just no worries, as he would say. Hey. <laughs> You guys all got that right. <laughs> I promised her I'd talk about her tonight. So why is the attitude crucial? Anybody agree with that? Everybody agree that the leader sets the direction? They should. <laughs> okay. Sometimes we have to redirect the leaders. This is true. Sometimes they need redirection. Sometimes they need to learn how to laugh. That is a good thing. And he's doing much better. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking there was a, you know, a little deeper meaning there. Yes. But the leaders do set the direction. Okay.